Okay. Uh, huge flash of the week. San Francisco Chronicle uh, article about uh, restaurants taking breaks because of the mental health of the employees. And I thought it was a great <laughs> downtime comment. Uh, so this guy closes his sandwich shop down for a week and a uh, weekend. And that one weekend turned into three as he slipped into a deep depression. His couch felt like a pool of quicksand, pulling him into a dark place where something as simple as brushing his teeth or picking up the phone call from his best friend uh, felt insurmountable. Uh, and how he uh, tried to hang in there prior to this experience. And I was giving more than I had to give. I think that's an example of a 10 pounder, a trying to do 12 and, and, and of course, boom down. Uh, so, uh, and then they go on with, uh, the other businesses and their problems. But I thought what a beautiful example of downtime and how much pain, more pain people could suffer by not understanding or taking advantage of downtime. So anyway, hi out there. Ah, uh, this is from last week. Any uh, uh, heavier dimensions? Still in the manifest, finer dimensions. Uh, eventually, the self that's encased in the manifest gets to going through finer dimensions as the uh, approach pattern or clearing pattern or unwinding pattern. Uh, hopefully, many of you will have a sense of self and then self in that locale, self in its domain. So the returning self in the returning domain. Not the end all, there's more, but we have to hang there for a bit and get the flavor uh, of, of uh, more experience of self, self alive with itself, experiencing itself, not just the awareness part, but its counterpart, the experiential part of self itself. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, any, anything from last week, I know, we probably could have gone into a little more time and depth. I forgot where we majored in last week, but that picture was up. Any, any, anything here? Uh, comments, observations, whatever, whatever, whatever. Anything? anything? Well, sensei, last week you talked about using imagination. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, we're talking about fast forms through here. Uh, that we'll take the approach of. At first, going step at a time. That's the Bobby to Robert to Nado. Uh, uh, we'll go through the patterns of, of how to move step at a time. You get sort of the basic flavor. Once you get the basic flavor of how, how the manifest lays out the dimensionality of it, the heavier to finer and finer of it, uh, after a bit, you can zip through that pretty fast. Uh, so I think we're talking about the different forms of zipping through more, more quickly. Oh, Sensei again was damn fast. Uh, he'd start at his heaviest and he'd make a joke about it, this old man, and then give him a moment and suddenly doing this very fast and he's suddenly not this old man anymore. He's standing in self in the domain plus plus, might have had an extra circle for oh, Sensei there. And there he is, Uyashiva of Aikido not this old man anymore. Uh, so does that cover it, Lauren? <laughs> Let's see, I did have a question. Yeah. Um, the difference between imagination, imagining and visualization. You know, you're the, the, some of the track stars are visualizing themselves going over gracefully over the hurdles and so on and so forth. And that might oh no, I started playing with that in high school, yeah. Visuals, visualize yourself going over the high bar. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the old days. 
That's uh, different than imagination, though. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Maybe off the top, I I really would like to sit with for a moment and give you an exact here, but uh, to visualize is to see a picture about could be true, uh, but it'd be very important to do the other half of that, uh, the uh, experiential half of that visualized. Mm -hmm. And so I think uh, uh, hopefully by what other word were we using? Man. Uh, imagination. Uh, the imagination is uh, in, infers an, an experiential part in, in there. Yeah. So I think we talked about what word we used last week, imaginary. Let me see if I can see that. Ooh. Imaginary, where is it? There we go, imaginary. Uh, okay, imaginary of sense you referred to or gave me the sense that it was more mental. And imagination is a different word, different, different thing going on there. The option. <laughs> That's sort of case uh, ship. Yeah, that's good. Thank you, Sensei. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you're like in meditation and you get an image of something, you see something, uh, cool. You're going to get all excited and wow, look at that. Wow, wow. Don't forget the other half of that, the counterpart, is now begin to experience or feel for lack of words here, what it's feeling, okay? Just that you can see it is cool, but it's not the fuller package. You're aware, but we need this aware experiencing, experiencing aware. This is very critical, okay? Something that through the ages we've sort of lost. It's an ancient problem that is still heavy in existence. Uh, I understand, well then do it. Well, I can't quite do it yet, but I understand. That's half, I understand. Now what's the feeling of that that I understand? Okay. So the two parts, the two parts, aware I'm experiencing, experiencing I am aware, all right? So I'm not throwing rocks at awareness. I'm just saying, no, that's half. At max, it's half. Okay, it has a partner or counterpart to itself. Okay. okay. And I'll, because it's so important, always mention it, uh, uh, bring it up again, remind you uh, uh, how, how important it is. Okay, somebody, something here. So that's a uh, Bob here. Yes, Mr. Noah. I've worked with a, uh... Uh, a, a girl uh, who was an uh, Olympic high jumper. She was on five Olympic teams. And using the principle you just taught me, uh, she'd been working with a sports psychologist who was talking about visualizing the perfect high jump. And something that her told her wasn't enough. And what we did is exactly what you just said instead. You blurred on me a little bit. Uh... Somebody who has a clearer mic or Bob, you want to try it again without a blurring on me a bit? Here. Okay. Yeah, I worked with an Olympic high jumper. She was on five Olympic teams. And she was working with a sports psychologist who was talking about visualizing the perfect high jump. Okay. And she was aware enough to know that that wasn't it. So awesome. using what you just said that you taught me, I worked with her to get the experiential part going, and it really helped her a lot. Yeah, cool. That's probably what Osenso is trying to point out when he'd say, put it in your body. Okay. Uh, now we'd have to uh, have a, a way of catching what that meant. When he talked about the universe and he said, put it in the body, I went back to my apartment in Tokyo and said, huh. And I couldn't put that big sense of things in my body. What the hell does he mean here? Uh, uh, but in this sensing uh, domain, uh, it's like there's a different kind of body. In fact, I was even thinking about that this afternoon for a moment. Uh, how to bring that inner sense of something uh, up as, as if uh, 
you've got your physical body and then within there you've got your energy body and within there a finer energy body but there's something something kin or in relation to or a continuation of body in fact i might be able to show that uh katya yeah. you free we'll try a little walk under pressure for those of you that don't have a partner uh walk through an imaginary substance if you need some pressure you know, walk under pressure yeah uh, uh, here's my favorite partner Katja. <laughs> okay. okay check the camera here okay uh let me do, do first walk whatever level I, i'm at boom 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 okay and i notice i feel a little weak in my front thighs here Catch any comment about my walk? Mm, it's a bit uneven, a little bit rocky. Okay, uneven and rocky, that's my norm. <laughs> okay. Settling, opening, easy. Now it's forming. Uh, uh, what, what level am I at here? It's forming uh, something that's uh, fluid. The word just comes to me, fluid. Okay, nice idea. Now easy, a sense. As a sense feel of a fluid body, easy. Fluid body, fluid body, fluid body. Felt a bit better to me, but not great. Gotcha? Was the smoother, more supported, more, more distinct? Okay. So we're talking about an inner body. Okay, easy. Uh, still continuing with that a flowing sense, uh, but the sense of flow, uh, my sense of it, my image of it, it feels bigger. I can almost hear the wind blowing, whoosh. Okay, easy, nice, a bunch of nice ideas, great. Now, easy, there's a body here that is closer to a flowing body. There's a body here that is part and partial of a flow. <laughs> I thought it was better, but we'll check with Katja. Katja? It's a more powerful, fuller. Can you hear her? Supported. Okay. So it felt supported. Uh, and what you say? More powerful. 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 Easy, easy. So I'm just trying to bring up the sense of this inner body. Again, not sure how to lay that word out right now, but but it's not just an idea, okay, that I try to inflict onto the physical body. There's a body here at a certain level, easy, we're playing dimensional, and there's a body here. And this body, again, the word flow, but it feels a little oil, oilier. Yeah, it feels like there's oil in the flow. Okay, nice idea, I gotta double check. The body that feels itself as a flow and and greased, oiled, uh, uh, the best I could say, oily flow, and it works. Okay. My joints felt better. How my body parts moved felt more like that, more uh, fluid and, and well oiled. And got your comment. I felt also, I felt, I felt the energies already before you started moving. It, it was catching me a little early before okay. I began to physically move. So before I started to physically move, she's saying that dimension I'm in, the energy of that dimension was already starting to zoom and she's picking it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Zoom, boom, 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 boom. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Again, uh, if you don't have a partner, uh, I used to play a game of being in some kind of uh, uh, amusement park. Imagine it's uh, uh, wired all around and there's uh, a plastic balls and you get to walk through this room of plastic balls. Okay. Uh, so they're not heavy and it's not a wall that stops you like brick. Uh, a plastic kind of thing. You could probably do it like it's all water, but it's uh, 
half power of water. So, so you can walk through that water and feel the pressure of it, uh, but still be able to move. <laughs> uh, okay, is that too dumb? Is that <laughs> okay? Uh, and then, then I read once where Rocky Marciano, for you younger people, he was a heavyweight champion. He, he beat everybody of, of name. And uh, one of his practices was to be in the swimming pool, maybe waist, and he would practice uh, uh, throwing his punches in, in the water and moving in, in the water. And I thought, ooh, that was smart, Rocky, smart, smart move. To get to it, the water forced him to get to another level where his movements were were a better, different. Okay. All right. Oof, oof, oof. All right. Where the hell are we? Uh, <clears throat> anything more on this before we get into the main subject for tonight? Oh. Are we all right? Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> a little similar to what uh, Moon was trying to lay out, I believe, in his class. Uh, in his presentation last last week, uh, and he was using breathing as a, a trick of balancing, as a form, as a form of balancing to get to a better place, a better uh, feeling of yourself. Okay, kind of thing. I uh, sort of around in there. Uh, so. Let's see, I, I was just wondering if I had a better diagram. We don't need this one anymore. Uh, that one, what do I have here? Oh. Uh. <clears throat> so we could use a dimensional using ground floors as reference. That as you settle down, you're at a better dimension. Okay. And the balance of that dimension, okay, whether you're breathing it or chanting it, I like to just move my arms. Boom, I can tell by, uh, for example, one arm's heavy and the other's lighter or slower, then I know I'm not quite balanced yet. So I can just sort of move my arms and pick up where I'm at. Didn't quite feel great. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, pretty close, pretty close. Yeah, I like the way it's moving out. <laughs> moving in is a little nah, 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 but not too bad. So that's, I'm using that to tell me the level of balance at whatever level I'm sitting here, whatever dimension I'm, I'm in. Okay, so a variety of forms of balance. Chant balance, breathe balance, uh, Two-step Aikido balance. Step out here, step back over here, step out there, step back over here, and and I would use that uh, as a as a balance check. That doesn't matter if I'm going north or south or that away or this away. That they begin to feel similar. Okay. Uh, that would clue me into what level of balance I could feel that. Okay, so I start with the obvious feeling. I get into finer sensing or sense feeling. Remember the brain map. Okay. Uh, so what we're presenting tonight is at a certain level of balance. Uh, check. What should we call it? Check. Check your feeling. Not your thinking about feeling. Check your feeling. Remember, thinking brain, I don't want to go to that one. At least feeling. Later, finer, finer. Sense feeling. Sense feeling. As you settle, 
We're inferring getting to a better level, we're settling. Ah, okay. Double check the balance. At a better level, the balance of the energies at that level should show, should happen, and they produce, for lack of words, produce close enough, a better feeling. For example, be prepared to come up with your examples. You be doing this. Don't be looking at me like what you doing over there. This is your practice, people. <laughs> okay. Easy. Certain level of sitting, settling, a sense of better balance there. Easy. Yeah, that that that's feeling balance at that level. Something feeling better. Feeling better. How am I feeling better? Every time I want to start spinning off and thinking about what should I feel? Feeling better. In my case right now, I feel calmness to some degree. There's a sense feeling of calmness. I know my exterior is still a little bit nervous. I can feel a lot of na -na 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 kind of thing, or I can even feel in the body a little. Na -na. But this sensing does feel calmer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So playing the inner finer game, this is the one I'm hanging out with. Calmness. Okay. Calmness. I double check. Because you'll get a sense of it or the idea of it or a word like, oh, calmer. Double check. Calmness feeling itself or you experiencing actually the calmness. There it is. I could feel that. Calmness. That was my word right now. Noah, could you help us here? What What was yours? What was your feeling better word? Clarity, Sensei. Clarity. Okay, he settled down and there is clarity. Nice word, nice idea. Double check. There's an experience of clarity. Okay. Yeah. Somebody, let's give me a few examples. What what's uh, what's a nicer feeling for you at the level you're at right now? Let's see, we're all playing the same game here. It's Mike Sensei. Go ahead. I'm feeling more connected. Um, like I'm very much aware of of all of the extents of my body, right down to the ends of my fingertips. And, and my toes, okay. there's a very, very slight tingling sensation starting to become noticeable. Yeah, if it's like the tingle already, already tells you you're in a different dimension. Because if I'm purely physical, I don't tingle. But if I settle a bit, stick my hand out there, if I'm actually in that dimension, it gets warm, it tingles. Soon there'll be a sense of a currenting or flow. Yeah, so that's your, we use that to map where we're at. I'm a good mapper. <laughs> Somebody? We did a little settling. Energies are balanced at the level you're at. Feeling better. How are you feeling better? What's your form right now of feeling better? And say this is Amy from oh. Oakland. <laughs> oh. There's a quiet, it's very quiet. Did you do something to your hair? I have it up and I'm half background. <laughs> you don't look the same. There it is. All right. I right. ah, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> ah. Very quiet. Settled feeling. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> okay. 
And then, of course, everyone do that double check where at first you're aware of that. Uh, I don't want to call it quality yet. Well, I want to hold that word off. That flavor. Okay. And you're getting some feeling about it. I'm going to double check and feel that. Better. A uh, little trick sometimes I play is I'm feeling that feeling itself kind of thing. Boom. Okay. Just to remind you to get both parts there, aware and the experience of it. Okay. Uh, and continuing a couple more. What's your feeling better level at the level you're at right now? Uh, Bob, uh, Steve here. Yeah. Um, for me, it was thickness. What? Thick, thickness. What does that do for you? It, it, it gives me more a feeling of substance, of, 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 of I can really feel the hereness of everything. I'm, I'm here. Yes. I'm, I'm here, people. Is that what you mean, that kind of substance? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't walk into the party and hug the walls as you around the room. No, I'd probably knock them over. <laughs> I'm here. Okay, substance, yeah. Okay. And again, uh, feeling that substance, again, or feeling that substance, feeling itself. And if there's more there uh, hanging out like that, the more of it can begin to show. We might even start the word soaking very early in the game, but soak with it. There's, there's, with a sense there's more here as I soak with it and feel what it's feeling. Uh, if you're playing that game, uh, Steve, uh, what's the more of substance? Meaning at first you felt, let's say the weight of it or the uh, of, of it, but as you hang out with it and, and feel it more, or it's feeling itself more, uh, yes, and, and, and is where I'm going. Uh, yeah, it, it feels like power. There's, okay. there's a power here. Okay. Hmm. And that's why you said, I bowl them over, because you were picking yeah. up that power. You didn't say it, but, but you expressed it. I bowl them over. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you don't have to push people around, but we have that presence, it naturally sort of emanates. Okay, so your clarity uh, em emanates somehow. Boom. Okay. Okay, yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, one, one more, Some, somebody, what's your good feeling? Sensei, this is Patrick. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I have a feeling that my body is more in harmony with itself, more in sync, synchronized with itself. <clears throat> Just trying to get more out of it. Let's see. What's the something that's here where because it's here, your body feels more in sync. Can I, can I try that? What's the, what's the thing that's here? Because of the, we settled a bit, we're balanced. What's the thing that's here? Later, I'm gonna use the word quality. I don't wanna use the word quality too fast, but that kind of thing. What's the what that's here that because of it, you feel more in sync, boom, bang. Feels like the natural flow. Okay. A little bit like I was getting with my walk under pressure with Katya. My body did begin to actually work better with itself in that flow or in relation to that flow, whatever. So it sounds similar. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think maybe I'm just asking people when they get something, uh, just, I don't know, say, 
as if potentially we, we, we could get a flash on something and we're aware of it, uh, but we're not but to hang with it and feel it or feel what it's feeling about itself, something to include this experiential part as opposed to just aware of it. I, I might be pushing that with how I'm mouthing off over, over here. Is that sort of okay saying it that way? I'll check with Brad. Brad, is that okay? <laughs> Brad says okay. What do you say? <laughs> Mike again. I notice yeah. in this state of, of feeling a lot more connected inside myself that whenever I move my hand, for instance, no matter how little it is, I notice that all of my body participates in that it's movement great. to some yeah. degree. Yeah. So it's not just a hand moving and the rest of me staying still. I can just feel without doing anything that, you know, that all sorts of things are happening throughout my body as a result of that movement. Yeah. Yeah, we but noticed that uh, a lot. We used to do something or other in Aikido to highlight that. Uh, but we would notice, let's say, just raise your arm. Okay. Uh, and I sort of, I want to raise my arm better, let's say. Uh, I noticed already some energy activity happening around my, my hip. Uh, it's like, like I want to mm, wiggle hair a little bit. It's like this hip to the hand. It's being supported. It's hip hand. It's not shoulder hand. It's hip hand. And if I continue, uh, hey, system help. Uh, I have to raise my arm. The whole right side of my body seems to have lit up a little bit. And, and I know it's going down to my foot here. So it's like the whole side of the body is related to this arm movement. Kind of thing. So I'm just saying what you're saying. And I'm saying, yes, that's a, uh, we should spot that in Aikido and do a little something with that. Are we okay, so kind of? Yeah. Ah. Uh, so whether we use a settle down to the next level, hang out, get a flavor for the balance. And then we're saying at that level of balance, something better, feeling better, in what form you feel better. And we could continue to another level, get a sense of the balance at that level. And then say, by the way, at this level, how are you feeling better? Okay. And we're asking you at that level of feeling better to really make sure you're feeling it because you can have awareness and have a little, I don't say a little, a little feeling about it, but that's different than the fullness of the feeling or experience of it. Okay. The awareness, the experience of it. Of it. So I'm just pushing on, on that a bit if that's clear enough to you is that okay we could have done a similar practice with a one by two by three by kind of thing in my case doing it the one by ah, uh, I, I i don't feel great in fact i'm feeling very negative if i do a one by ah uh, two by two there it is two by two by of course i'm fe feeling freer i just left the tightness of one by so yes of course that but also, what am I feeling here? What, what's my feeling? What's my feeling? Could I say feeling about me? What's my feeling in a two by? I feel more belonging. Uh, like it's okay that I'm here and it's okay that I breathe. It's okay that I'm here. Okay. So I'm not shy about being someplace or feel like I'm, I shouldn't be there. Okay. In some cases that will happen. In Japan, certain bars you walk into, you say, I don't think I want to be in this bar. It's like they weren't pro foreigners or something. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> but anyway, this feeling of, ah, it's okay for me to exist. It's okay for me to breathe. It's okay for me to be here. Uh, so that's my two by three by would be whatever three by would be. Uh, so there's different forms. We could have settled, double check the balance, and then I want you to catch that, uh, that there's this feeling better thing. And you could take advantage of that in daily life. It's very simple. You could do this in a minute after a minute. You know, 
uh, very quickly. Ha, ah, feel better. Okay. Uh, just a matter of settling. So that's the importance of downtime. Settling, uh, hitting a better level, you can sense, imagine that. And at that level, a moment, yes, balance at that level. How do I feel here? What's, what's, what's going on here? What's my feeling? Okay, so useful daily life trick. Okay. Uh, now, I would say they inferred to me that, uh, that he didn't call uh, these first levels. He called them energy balance levels. And, uh, and that after a bit in finer dimensions, he begins to say now qualities. You can, uh, we can use the word qualities now, as if he wouldn't want to throw that word out too fast. He would just say energy balance. Well, how do you feel at that level of energy balance? But as we continue finer and finer, that that's here is more of a quality. Okay. See, if you're watching Moon's program, uh, one that comes up for Moon a lot, easy for him. He does his, his settling and balancing using breathing as a transportation vehicle, the, tr the trick of the trade, the process that he uses. And he gets to uh, joy. It's a good leaping jump. Uh, okay. Uh, now, your quality will be your quality, okay? Uh, and again, to follow the same pattern. Don't just be aware there's joy, and you get some feeling from your awareness, not good wording, but some feeling. You, you'll feel a little joy about seeing joy. Uh, but a little more hangout. Again, the word soaking might come in again here. Uh, okay, joy. Yes, now soak in it. And again, I play the game feeling what it's feeling about itself. Ah, feeling what it's feeling about itself. Okay. Um, are we all, all right? Is that sort of okay? So uh, we've covered the earlier levels of just feeling better, fairly simple, easy enough. Is that sort of okay? Uh, one side effect maybe of, let's say, the earlier stages of feeling what, how do you feel better? What form do you feel better? Uh, that as you experience it more, there won't be as many questioning doubts. Am I really feeling that? Did I make that up? Uh, that when you experience it with more of the experiential half of things here, uh, uh, you're less likely to question it or go negative about it or worry about if it's a make-believe or not because you're beginning to feel it. Okay? Beginning to feel it. So I know with Katya uh, uh, pressuring me, I know when it's time to walk because I can feel the flow starting to flow through me. That's what she said. She said, ooh, the flow starts before I physically start. And I pick it up too. Oh, I ride the wave. So I used to mention this in Aikido. Amy, you remember I did this a lot, where it's kind of like surfing, although I know shit about surfing, but uh, it's kind of like surfing where where you feel or hear or see the bigger wave coming and you choose a bigger one and that's the one you ride in on. Because the beats are going on all the time, you don't ride a smaller wave and waste your time. You wait, you let the smaller waves go by and then you, oh, here comes a good one and you ride that one. I kind of do the same thing when I do techniques. That's why it came up in the dojo. Uh, I look over here because I see her face over here. Okay. Probably bad stage mannerisms. I should be here. Anyway, uh, where the hell are we, people? Where are we? Uh, <coughs> mm. 
Okay. <coughs> uh, <clears throat> again, I would like to get the fuller uh, of these things and to position them like an inner body. Okay, so they are sort of actually present. The the body of uh, let's use the phrase well. Nice guy. Gee, I feel nice. Okay, there's a, oh, in this dimension, there's a body feeling nice, a whole body. Now, my physical body may not, may still be hurting or uh, uh, sick or what, whatever, Danny, you on? Uh, but this inner one, inner one present, it feels nice. So you potentially can exude niceness, <laughs> okay, all right? Now, if it's just an idea, there seems to be something, this always caught my attention, amused me. In fact, I use it a lot, uh, probably, uh, where you have an idea of being nice and you run around telling people, I'm a nice person, I'm a nice person, okay? And there's something in a human condition where a lot of people will dig on you to check whether that niceness is just your idea of you being nice, but it's not sort of a reality. It doesn't have any body presence to it and they'll dig on you. And if it's just an idea, it breaks down fast. Okay. But if it's a fuller body of nice guy and it's feeling its own aliveness as nice and it's present as nice, they're little digs. We used to call that water off a duck's back. A back. They don't bother you. You're aware of them, but but they're not breaking you down because you are actually a nice person. And eventually, the, the person, the guy, won't want to keep bugging you. He'll realize, oh, he's a nice person, and he'll back off from bugging you uh, because you didn't break down. So that's his way of catching whether you were bullshit or actual. He'll, he'll walk away saying, ooh, that is a nice person kind of thing. Did I say that right, Mr. Noah? Yes, that's how you did. Anything to add to that? Just that the uh, all of this is a result of following the process you're laying out. Okay. Um, what we're trying to do here is lay out process, a process format that is an ongoing process. Okay, so that's why these first couple of levels are important. They're establishing the process that we're using. We're using a downtime to a better location, dot, 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 springtime, uh, or you're using a floor to floor to floor, or you're using a one by two by three by four by, uh, or you're using chanting for reference, or you're using breathing for reference, or what the hell ever, that you have some kind of balanced process that guides you along in your universe that helps you to move from heavier to a better level of yourself, okay? So you're getting some feedback here by, oh, when I settle a bit more, I do feel better about myself, okay? And which time again, let's double check and make sure you're also experiencing that, not just aware of it, okay? It's a good honesty factor. Where am I going? That this pattern would continue through the whole uh, manifest creation. And the main pieces of it would continue into the domain, self in its returning domain, okay? That there'd be a self aware of itself as self and feeling itself as self. That's why I bring up the word there, aliveness. It's feeling its aliveness as self, okay? So it has a body, okay? Not your physical body, it has a body. Ah, am I making any sense? Yeah, one nod, one thumbs up, okay. <laughs> Another nod, okay. Three nods, we're, we're, we're on for here. Uh, so uh, I think it's important to 
All right. <clears throat> Recognize the form you're using in your, uh, what you call that, movement through dimensions. And don't, I want to, what's the phrase I would like there? Uh, uh, hopefully it gets ingrained in your system. So let's say you run into something fancy, like, uh, I don't know. Wow, look at that bright light. You reach a certain level of finer balance where you're suddenly aware or sort of present with this very bright light. Wow. It's like, yeah, okay, fine. But retain the bright light thing. But remember your balance continuing process. Uh, try to work both of them together. Don't lose your step at a time process and just wow with the brighter light and you potentially get a bit lost, okay? Or you'll maybe make that everything. Oh, bright light, I've reached it. I'm, 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 I've reached my final place. It's the bright light, yes. And it's like, wait, we got more work to do here. Good step, great, great. Let's continue kind of thing. And so using that bright light, okay, or whatever it is, oh, love, wow, it's all loving, great. But don't stop there. Uh, uh, continue this uh, feeling it, feeling what it feels about itself as great love, okay? And because it's ingrained in your system uh, that we're able to also continue to the next level of that a finer level of love, let's say. And then we continue double checking the awareness of it, the experience of it, feel what it's feeling at that level. Okay. And, and, and you're still on a process pattern that's been ingrained in your system, hopefully by now. And you'll continue with that. Uh, so you don't go off on your idea of what that is uh well, i'm not saying it well but uh, you, you don't you don't lose your compass how about that how about that you got a compass you use breathing he uses chanting whatever whatever that's a compass you bump into something that's fascinating don't suddenly throw the compass away okay hang out with that that fascinates you Feel it, feel it, feeling itself, da 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 But keep your compass. We're not finished yet. Keep your compass. There's too many people in the, quote, spiritual world who hit a nice level of something, and they stop. They think they've arrived. Uh, I hate to be the bad guy in town, but uh, good step, guy. Good, great. I'm glad you caught it's all loving or, or wow, all this love or all this brightness or all this. Great, great, nice move. Now, continuing with your compass without having to lose that, but continue dimensionally. Retain your compass, retain your pattern. Is that, am I saying that okay? All right, yeah. So. Basics going on. Let me skim my notes here. Got something to say someplace. Uh, uh, we were trying to establish that using different words, we did a series on core. There's a physical core. When you have a physical core, notice that it, it sort of pervades the physical body. Somebody with a good physical core, their body moves well. Uh, Paul Bowman laid it out really great when he said, when he really caught physical core, uh, the amount of weights he could lift was dramatic. He said, oh my God, in a month, an extra 100 pounds there and 150 pounds there. I'm like, oh my God, that's fantastic. Uh, but that's just a good example of core through that unit. Then uh, we follow the Chinese pattern of energy, finer energy dimension core. And at one level, uh, Chen Manching said, this level of core, all this upper arm stuff moves free. Da -da 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 -da. And at this level of core, uh, the, the legs are moving free. 
same as the arms. So you've got arms free, feet free. You don't have to think about moving your feet. Uh, they're, they're like naturally moving. They're being naturally moving. Uh, and that was based on core to a better core to a better core. Okay. Now, again, continuing uh, uh, why that having a pattern like that is important is when you catch self extricating, unwinding from the manifest, and self starts to get a better sense of itself in the returning domain of self, that that self experiencing itself has a core. Okay. That self has a body. Okay, not a physical body, but it has its own body. Okay, and it's it's uh, here underlying. Uh, you're standing in the middle of your own three layer cake. Maybe one day we'll add a fourth layer. Well, since it was pretty advanced, uh, forget that for now. Uh, but being in the center of of it, it's accurate. Oh, sensei, don't go anywhere. It's here. It's dimensionally interior here, and that here, and this is here. It's here. Okay. So there's a natural, I call it radiation, or since they call it em emanation at a very good level, well, even levels along the way. Uh, a nice person, fairly early level, should naturally exude niceness. Where, well, let me go out. To ask that guy directions. He looks like a nice guy, meaning he feels like a nice guy. Already there's some emanations uh, kind of thing. Okay. So as we continue, uh, especially from the uh, self in the domain, the emanations are uh, very clear quality potential there. So they're the same qualities that have always been there, but you're getting closer to the source. And they emanate much, much stronger, oh, much clearer. Okay. Yeah. I didn't lose you there, did I? Noah said, okay, but I don't trust Noah. He's been around. Too no, that, that's, that's the place where it just, it gets stronger and stronger there. Yes. Yeah, very strong. And, uh, and that's one reason earlier in the game, finer dimensions and you bump into a major uh, bright light, uh, a loving, a joy, that's move, right? Joy, uh, you get close to a place where it can be quite strong. Uh, so that would also be a reason why somebody might uh, forget about the compass continuing pattern because it's so strong, it's like, wow, this must be it, period, boom. Uh, it's great that it's there, you, you get applause for that level of that quality, not where the quality level being there, uh, because yes, it does get stronger. Yeah. Cool. So we can uh, even, uh, you can even imagine that self in the domain and your uh, the finer your quality because you're more original it's more original of your qualities how wow that might be yeah. and what what might happen as you take up residence there uh, again we don't know all the varieties of what happens there. I have a few examples. Uh, I'm working a lot with Susan again, I mentioned, on the uh, self-present with its person, we call it self-present with its person, being better aligned and the natural radiations out from the self affecting the person, affecting the energy body, affecting the physical body, even going out and affecting a little bit the world they're in. So it, can re it really emanates. Okay. And what different forms do they em emanate? Uh, kind of open eye, you don't have that much experience with the variety. Uh, 
I could go into some story examples, but <laughs> not today. Where are we? I'm getting lost over here. Um, so basically what we're trying to do is establish patterns uh, that point us in the right direction, okay? Inner finer dimension, being the character there, the feeling better in the earlier levels, feeling your qualities as they first begin to appear, letting those qualities naturally emanate as opposed to just being aware, I'm a nice guy. Are you a nice idea? Good, good, but boom. Are you experiencing within, for lack of words, a nice body that exudes a bit of ni niceness? Do you smell nice? <laughs> Sorry, bear with me. Oh, there should be some of that going on, not because of your idea, but because of that core radiation, if you would, that body experience of niceness naturally em emanating. Okay. I caught you? Yeah. Can I borrow you? Got a drawer up in the kitchen. That's so basic, simple stuff that we've done over and over. Uh, on. Let's see if this. Here we go. No, no, nothing's so. up. Okay, easy. So. A different level, and at this level, already senses to me like it's an energy level. I would hope so. Uh, energy level, and so I'm aware of it. But she'll bend my arm right now. Easy, yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it feels like an energy. I'm, I'm sort of aware of energy. Okay, easy. Now the energy itself is mixing or creating an energy body or I'm feeling, I'm feeling the energy. So if you can sort of imagine there's an energy body here where the physical body is standing, it's an inner energy body. Give me a shot. It's not perfect, but go ahead, give me a shot. Starting to break, can you see that? Starting to break a bit. Okay, no problem. I just settle some more. Uh, Fuller immersion, a fuller sense of the mix, uh, uh, a fuller sense of uh, the energy level person. Feeling there and there, there we go. I can tell because I already feel it shoot out far to the wall. So I knew this one was going to be a bit better. Is that better? Yeah. How is it better? Um... The arm feels firmer. It feels like we have a little bit more circumference. It's uh, uh. <laughs> okay. Now, not to misunderstand. Okay, I'll make it firmer. I will. I will. Total wrong way. Total. It's an inner fullness factor, naturally. Okay. So she's helping me to. Uh, improve my percentage and to in case I, I I misunderstand the awareness of it go ahead the word yes an energy arm yes yes I believe boom it bends uh, so she's helped oh oh thank you for helping me I I got caught up. I used to call those postcards now and then I would get caught up in a postcard of it and I didn't have it okay uh, once I caught I was postcarding uh, very quickly, it went from 10% to, I think, no percent now. That the experience is so clear to me now. I don't confuse the postcard idea with the actual what. <laughs> what? That's much, much firmer. I mean, before I had the feeling I could still penetrate a little bit. Now I can't. I, I also don't feel any work. I, <clears throat> I don't feel any work happening here. It's, it's. Okay. And also just a little reminder. Oh, I got to a level where I don't have to work. 
I don't have to do it. God is going to do it. Wow, I'm at that level. Careful people, careful people jumping the gun. Um, just a reminder. Thank you. So all those uh, those games we were playing weren't to compete. They were to give you some feedback as to where you were at, how to get better level where you were at, uh, how to catch the difference between awareness of it. Yes, since I understand. Uh, to yes, I understand. Now give me a moment. So the feeling, the experience of it can happen. Boom. Okay, so it's not a competition thing. We're helping each other to develop. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so feeling better, a core potential. Uh, we see you centering for reference a lot in the Aikido in the early days. Being more centered, you function better. Getting better centered, you function better. So we see you use that as an ongoing reference, okay? Uh, again, it's a compass if you're using it that way. And uh, because you uh, reach a, a great place, great level, uh, you don't throw the compass away. So I always had a sense, I use the uh, Chinese sense of a universal center. To use that correct, it's a Chinese using sense of universal center. Yes, that's true, Sensei. Yeah. Uh, I always kept that in the back of my mind that, yeah, this is a nice center that I can play with here. But really, 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 it's a universal center. And so things like that would keep me, keep me going keep me inquiring, keep me continuing experiencing more and more and more. Okay. So even though you could get to say a pretty fancy level, careful, there's a tendency to think you've arrived when now you get a good place. Great. Yay for you. Great. But it's not the end yet. Continue. <laughs> Follow your compass. Okay. Uh, sometimes we throw out words, unfortunately, uh, like uh, oh, Sensei's heavenly. He said there's a heavenly. Uh, but what's going to happen is you're going to settle a little bit, get a bit calmer, feel a bit nicer, and say, is this heavenly? Uh, and it sounds like, Jesus, we're sorry we use that word. Okay. But in a certain way, we have to the pointers out, the old sentence, whatever, even a stupid now goes. We point out a direction and we throw out some words. Uh, unfortunately, there's a tendency not to click, 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 continuing with your compass uh, to the more of those words and the more truth of those words and the origin of those words. I like that. The origin of those words. Uh, that you get a little touch on it and you think you've arrived. And what a shame, what a shame, okay? It's like stopping at the, is the salt lake have water in it? Like stopping at the salt lake in the old days, in your covered wagon, thinking you've touched the Pacific Ocean. I like that. Oh, look at that body of water, we've arrived. Empty the wagon. Okay, if you're a Mormon, sure, empty your wagon at the Salt Lake. But if you think you're at the Pacific Ocean, you're not quite there yet. Okay, so uh, be open for more. Okay, enjoy the hell where you're at, experience it. Again, that word soaking is coming up strong. No sense it would say soak there for a bit. And in that soaking, the continuation hopefully will naturally happen. Okay. So, and one reason you like soaking is you soak in it, uh, the natural progression could happen because you're soaking well there. Okay. I would say soaking and 
that feeling, it's feeling itself as part of the soaking. I'm feeling it and it's feeling itself as whatever the quality is, as part of your soaking. Okay. Ah, am I diverging? No, I'm not diverging. Am I clear? That I don't know. Uh, yeah, well, my notes are based on uh, it's not an idea. It's a sensed experience, actual. If you have an idea about it, the idea may be true, but it'll break down fast. It, it, it doesn't have us uh, uh, using uh, uh, the word uh, substance that came up earlier with Steve. It doesn't have enough substance, substance. Okay, it's just an idea. Uh, people will attack you and, and, and you're uh, you're suddenly unsure about your own idea. When you get this, you have more substance. It might break down after a while because there'll be time to move on to finer, but it has more holding substance, substantiality. Okay. Uh, that just an idea belief may not have. Um, right. Where are we? Where are we? We're finishing, getting towards the end here. So you better talk, people. I'm going to go drink wine. Or, no, I'll drink my juice first. Uh, talk to me. Where are we? Where are you? Uh, think about it. You're only a few moments away from having a feel-good pill available to you. You practice these first couple, get the flavor. After a bit, you can hit them much faster. Remember, we're talking about fast forms, the express elevator. Uh, I can't find it. There's a, a phrase that was since a Japanese phrase that was since they used. That was his form of express elevator. <laughs> I lost it here. That was no big deal. Uh, Is that uh, uh, Shin Kensen? Yeah, Shin something. Ken Shin Kenshin? Shin Kan Kishin. Shin Kan Kishin. Shinkan? Yeah, Shinkan Kishin. You blur. I, I say, I, I, what's with your lousy speaker, Bob? Sorry. <laughs> Bob, your, your voice is very bassy today. Anyway. Please repeat once more, uh, Noah. Shinkan Kishin. The last Shinkan? word blurs. Uh, it's I have, Lord, I have it written down someplace. I just lost it. I'll call you back one day. <laughs> Is it a different notebook? Ah, there it is. Wrong page. Shinkansen. Shinkansen. The Shinkansen is the bullet train in Japan. Really? Well, when I said express elevator, Hosensei immediately said Shinkansen. <laughs> right. And so in the, in the 60s, when it was first introduced after the Olympics, it was the fastest train in the world. Mm -hmm. So it was the epitome of the express anything. Okay. 
anyway. Uh, so yeah, there are fast form the uh, trade ins, the downtime, the downtime dark, uh, the clearing. Um, but out of all of those, and I'm sort of putting all those in the same category as kind of a trade, they're all trade ins. Uh, they all should be, again, playing that game of that feeling itself, not just I'm aware of clearing. The clearing is like it's a something itself clearing, and it has a feeling about itself. Best I can say this. And the dark has a feeling about itself, as opposed to, oh, yes, I understand. I can image dark daylight. Yes, I can do that. Winter, summer, yes, I, I, can, I can have an idea about that. Uh, but, uh, but there's more of a feeling to them. Anyway, out of all those trade-in words, uh, do keep the dark in mind because that's a biggie. That's a biggie. So any place along the line, whether you're in uh, uh, a finer dimension of manifest, whether you're uh, uh, starting to be an early hmm, being of self in the returning domain, uh, if you run into dark, it's still the same old pattern. Dark to something before it, could I say? The deeper of it brings you to the next level, whatever the next level is for you where you're at. Anyway, it's big time, big time. So I'm not putting down uh, clearing. I'm not putting down uh, the other ones. Uh, but I'm just saying dark is, seems to be a heavy duty major form in which it will show. Okay, enough said. Uh, hi, how are you? <clears throat> Anything important? Anything not so important? <laughs> Hell, I'll even listen to some bullshit. You want to bullshit? Let's bullshit. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Sensei, it's Mike again. Yes, Mike. Again. It, it, it came to me while you were demonstrating the, that unbendable arm exercise that the, the first action with, with Kacha, where she was able to bend your arm, my, my, my feeling sense there is that you're receiving what the other person is doing to you. Whereas when you start centering and settling, it changes and becomes the other way around. It's what you're exerting on them, not because you're trying to exert on them, because that's what's naturally flowing out of you. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah, I'd have to do it again and fine tune that to have anything intelligent to say to continue this conversation. But that's it. So, okay, we'll move along. Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not like you're ignoring the other person. But you're aware of them at a different level. When I'm in my, say, energy body level to whatever degree I'm at, and that's happening, I'm also very aware of her body. If you were to ask me where her power centers are, I'd probably be able to tell you I could feel them as if somehow she's also incorporated, maybe. Uh, so it's not like we're. Uh, Ignoring, not like we're me, 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 and I'm ignoring everybody else kind of thing. Uh, it may look like that at first because I'm I was trying to be attentive with other people and be a nice person. And we say, eh, well, maybe knock that off and let's settle here. And at first I might scare some people because it sounds like you're saying uh, in a bad way, be selfish. Oh, no, I'm, I'm supposed to be aware of other people, be nice to other people. It's like, yeah, but you can, let's, let's settle down. We'll get to a better level of that. And the better level of that, uh, at the moment, I want to say, incorporates them. Okay. But the, the, the change from being aware of them, trying to be a nice person, 
And coming in here, it sounds like just the total opposite. This can't be right. I'm, I'm losing sight of them. Yeah, we're well, temporarily. Yeah, it's a downtime. You're not going to produce in a downtime. Remember what the paper said. That guy couldn't even get up to brush his teeth. A phone call from his best friend. He didn't have the impetus to answer a phone call from his best friend. He couldn't, he couldn't get up out of that yet. I don't forgot where I was going with that example, but anyway. <laughs> yes. How are we doing, people? Where are we? Sensei, how's it going? Yeah. This is Andrew from Aikido. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, going back to the part where you were saying, um, you know, people would meet a place or I guess, a, I guess a level of enlightenment. And then you would say, I hate that word. Stop. stop it with that word. Okay. I'm sorry, but no, no, <laughs> no enlightenment here. Okay. All right. Um, but they would hit a level and that you would say, just keep on going. Right. <laughs> that part. Yeah, hang um, there, soak there, enjoy the hell out of it, but not forever in a day. Yeah. yeah. Um, would you say, because it, I was reminded of a, it's attributed as a Zen saying, um, it would say, before enlightenment, carry water, chop wood, and after enlightenment, carry water, chop wood. Is that a fair description not, of what you're saying? It's not part of my dialogue. It sounds Chinesey. Uh, TJ, you want to jump in on that one? Uh, Sensei TJ has left, but Andrew, oh, yes. Oh, you want to jump in on that one? Andrew, yes. Sensei, that's an old Zen saying. That's all I'll say. And I'm not a Zenner, so I have to throw that out at No or TJ or somebody. But uh, Sensei, I think it's it's I think it's very consistent with what you've been saying tonight that. Mm -hmm. You, you, you reach a plateau, but you still have your compass. The plateau is not the summit, it's a plateau. And well, you going. see, yes, yeah, so you have to understand the whole purpose of Zen is to prove Nado is right. <laughs> <laughs> well, in, in keeping with Zen, I can't comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Thank yeah. you, Andrew. Right, Thank you, Andrew. Uh -huh. yeah. No problem. I think you're on the right track, Andrew. Thank you, Sensei. And thank you, Laura. Don't mind me. Sometimes I border on insanity. Got to be pretty crazy. <laughs> and there, Get out of this crazy creation we're in. Uh, there are a few more people uh, with their mics open. Uh, I guess Dustin, <clears throat> are you up? Oh yeah, thank you, Sensei. I was just going to say something about I like the, the uh, compass analogy because I've seen compass before in different different yeah. books and talks, but. Just like what you were just saying with Andrew, like they keep going. You're not going to get anywhere, but use the compass as a just keep yeah. going. So Trust appreciating your, that with. Yeah, if your pattern worked for the few few levels, uh, trust your pattern. Now that's your compass. Yeah, not kind of like that phrase tonight too. I don't recall using it before, but I liked it tonight. It sounded right. <laughs> sounded good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Lauren, you say there are a few folks uh, open mic. Uh, it would it would seem that that was a very short cue. Are we finished? Anyone else that would like to, to comment? Anyone else? We we still have time. Uh, Bob, uh, we talked a little bit this week. Uh, I gave you a little heads up where I thought I might be heading. Uh, anything we're talking about in this vein of tonight's class that? Yes, that's it. I think what came through very clearly is whatever you're experiencing at the time, trust the process, stay with the process. And when it's time to move on, you will. If you leave the process, then there's a tendency to get lost in whatever experience you happen to be at at the time. And over time, that's going to wind down and you're actually going to fall backwards. 
Uh, one thing I could have reminded you about, it's kind of important. Um, when you're, let's say, a, a nice quality of uh, uh, appears happens in your in your space. Uh, as beautiful as it is in whatever form it, it's there, peacefulness, lovingness, uh, clarity, uh, bright light, wow, uh, whatever form, um, as you soak with it, hang out with it, experience it, be prepared for a partner one to kick in. Okay, that'll be following the laws of how things work. Uh, so be prepared for that. Even on something fancy like uh, uh, all love or something, great. It's, it's a beautiful, fantastic quality. It's really based on a very original quality. Okay, so it's directly in sync with. But uh, it seems like a one quality pattern can throw you off balance. Uh, kind of like the compass, uh, uh, keep your balance kind of thing. Uh, that that quality has a partner. And as you soak in that one, hang out with that one, be prepared for a partner quality to show. Okay, so for example, uh, I'm not saying it's gonna be this way, but for example, uh, all loving and to hang out with it, da, 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 da. then there could be a sense of power that's a partner to it. So you got powerful, loving, loving powerfully kind of thing. Okay. And good for you to know that. So that doesn't throw you because uh, you could say, oh, all loving, that's a total answer. There is nothing else because that's what all loving will feel like. It's the only one. Okay. And then if something like, uh, the power partner shows, you might get a little confused because you're feeling a of it, let's say. And it seems to be the antithesis. Am I learning the language correctly? Antithesis. Uh, it might confuse you for, for a little bit. Okay. So I had a funny, di you got a couple of minutes? I had a funny dialogue with Osensei and he's trying to explain this piece here. And he said for his, he really liked power. That was his first and for He was great at power, 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 power. But then he reached a level where the, uh, the partner, in his case, to uh, power was a kind of a, a, a loving, loving compassion. And that one started to be present. And it really, he wasn't expecting that. And that at first seemed to be uh, interfering with or destroying his power. It really blew him. But he's gutsy, hangs in there, and then figures it out. Uh, but when it first started happening, uh, my word is discombobulated him. Okay. Uh, and, until he realized, oh, the partner pattern. And then when the next couple, there are basically four biggies. Uh, then when the next ones happened, he was, he was like versed in how it worked. And thought, oh, yeah, that's fine. And, and he had no trouble with the next one and the next one. Okay, so anyway... Uh, keep in mind the partner thing. Uh, I introduced that to you a long time ago in one of the Friday sessions uh, uh, when we were playing with, I think we were playing with the quality, what's your quality, what quality comes up easy for you kind of thing. Uh, and I reminded you then, and what's its partner? I wanted to clue you in to be prepared to, to be a partner. So, uh, so when you're enjoying the hell out of your main quality, when its partner comes into play, you, you don't get confused or disturbed or misunderstand it or something like, like that. Okay, so it's a good thing to file away. Quality as a partner. Okay. Uh, and I got the impression from old sensei, again, the word soaking, that soaking with your first quality fuller and fuller, the natural presence of the partner should begin to be there or show, okay? So I, I wouldn't be too fast, like, oh, my first sense is, oh, love, what's his partner? That's a bit too fast, you're gonna hang with that first one. 
get comfortable with it, feel what it's feeling, so to speak, and soak with that. And 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 okay, just want to give you a heads up. That's all. Thank you, Sensei. It's uh, eight p.m. Yes, I think that I uh, you've uh, led us on a very interesting discourse this evening. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here, people. Thank you, Thank everyone, you and we'll see you next week. Thank you, Thank you, Sensei. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Thanks, Sensei. Thank you, Sensei. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you, Sensei.